So Power Book 3 Raising Kanan's first episode showed us a lot. We learned how a few characters, especially Raquel and Unique, and how they're battling to dominate control over territory and the streets. But one thing was clear during this first episode, that Kanan is Raquel's weak spot as well as her strength, and Unique knows this, and it was actually Kanan's actions that is causing tension and a potentially a big war between Raquel and Unique's crews, so I'm talking all things versus Raquel versus Unique in this video, and a potential all out war to come later on in this season. But of course if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Book 3 related over the coming months. But let's talk about Raquel versus Unique and where this war stems from because it seemed as if Raquel and Unique had made peace and a mutual understanding because a war is always bad for business and Raquel and Unique both seem to understand this but the mutual agreement stemmed from what happened to Born Ready, someone from Raquel's crew with the others Easy, Trace and Elmac getting away but Ready was the one who got caught, luckily only hit in the leg. Now Marvin said that Unique was trying to muscle into their corners again and his ideas were to push back and hit Unique's crews because they've also been muscling in for weeks on other spots but here's where his ideas were dismissed by Raquel and she doesn't fully trust Marvin, which is why she looked at Lulu to see if what Marvin was saying was accurate, which she did confirm. She knows that they can't afford a war right now and this is why Marvin isn't in charge. He used to be the leader of the Thomas organization which Raquel told us later on in the episode, but she also made it clear why he wasn't in charge anymore. Now this is a conflict that I'm sure we'll start to see more and more of between these siblings, more so Marvin and Raquel because their ideas on how to do things will conflict with each other, with Marvin being a lot more aggressive and wanting to take it to Unique rather than think about not getting into a war like Raquel. Now when they had a disagreement later on in the episode we saw Lulu saying here we go, like it's normal for Raquel and Marvin to fight, so I'm sure this isn't the last time we see Marvin and Raquel going head to head on how to do things. No doubt at some point Kanan will have a huge target on his back, he'll get attacked again like we saw in the drive by shootout scene in the trailer for episode 2 and we also see him being robbed here and Marvin's gonna protect him, regardless of who it is, Unique's crews, Buck's family or friends, he'll hit back and protect his people because we've heard all about how Marvin is loyal and this is what could be the icing on the cake for an all out war between Unique and Raquel because Marvin Marvin will probably be a little irresponsible with his actions. We saw him getting arrested as well in the official trailer after he got caught up in a fight outside the club. Now I'm sure we won't doubt his loyalty as I said, regardless of the way he thinks shit should be done. Raquel runs things and made it clear to Marvin and made it clear that she's someone who will take care of her people as well by paying for Reddy's hospital bill. But this was the first time we saw Unique, the biggest drug kingpin on the south side. Everybody wanted to be him would be down with him and D-Wiz tells us how Unique's car is bulletproof, he has someone down in Utah that hooks him up and armors all his rides for him. So Unique is a man who's not playing. He's well protected at all times, not just by his crew, and this is what makes him so dangerous. Joey Badass actually killed the role of Unique in the very first episode, and he fits the role so well. I think a few people in the comment section said that, said that he will die in the first season, and I do think he eventually he will die, but I don't think it's going to be in season 1. I think there's a lot more to come from Unique as a character before he meets his fate. That's my hope for him anyway, but this is power. Anything can happen at the drop of a dime, and I'm sure there's more twists to come during the midway point of the season and towards the end of the season. But this is where Kanan found out that Buck 20, the man who has Davina's heart, is working for Unique. The drive-by shootout at the Thomas family's favourite diner was just a warning shot to get Raquel's attention, according to Unique. And it's not how his brother Ronnie would have done shit, according to Raquel, but Unique's running things the way he wants now. And just a quick one on Ronnie, I do think we'll see him at some point. Regardless of him being in prison for life, he's definitely a character I think we'll see in the future, otherwise Unique would never have mentioned him in this scene. But Unique told Raquel that he checked the crews that were running wild, and this is where we really saw how straight up Raquel is. She's not manipulating Unique, she's not playing games, she's straight up and demands that he takes 140 to 143 and she gets 144 to Suffin and Raquel actually got a better end of the deal because Unique took a shot at her first. Now although Raquel showed us how tough she is in this scene, Unique showed us during this first meeting that he's a lot more powerful than Raquel at this moment in time but out of Raquel's pain comes strength and I think this stems from a lot of things. She suffered pain when she lost high post in 1986, lit up for being a snitch and she was madly in love with him and when he died Raquel's pain would have turned into strength and it's the same thing with Kanan, she gives him strength, she gives him purpose and this is why we will always see her protecting him. But here's the thing, the all out war between Unique and Raquel could well be because of Kanan and his actions. We know that he's not going to listen to his moms and go to another school downtown and when D-Wiz told him that he saw Buck on the corner of Raquel's territory, he said that he's going to handle that shit himself. But not knowing that his moms made a deal with Unique to give up those corners, both Kanan and D-Wiz roll up on Buck 20 and both shoot him and Prime Gaming made two really good points why Kanan may not have killed Buck and I do think Buck is dead by the way. He's definitely dead because I know a few people in the comment section said that they didn't show him dying on the screen but 
for me he's definitely dead, but Prime Gaming's first point was about the gun that Kanan used, it was a snub nose, and DWiz used a whole different gun. And the second point was DWiz asked if it was he or Kanan that killed him, and when they do the autopsy they'll find out that it wasn't actually Kanan that shot Buck, and it was a really good point I felt that needed to be raised, but regardless of who killed Buck, the fact is that Kanan made the call to roll up on him on the corner, and he still fired, and it was his actions and the drive by shootout that caused another parlay between Unique and Raquel. So Unique and Raquel meet again, with Raquel giving money for Buck's family, but no amount of money would make up for Buck's death, and Unique made it clear that people are still gonna come for Kanan, and that he doesn't have control over everyone. Buck has people all over Southside. I'm sure Unique can check a few people in line, but there's gonna be people who he has no control over, and they're still gonna want Kanan's blood and take him. Now, Unique took all the corners because he made it perfectly clear that he has a bounty on Kanan's head, and only he can give the order to stop them from coming at him. Now, Unique is an opportunist, using Buck's death to take Raquel's corners, but also knowing that he has to show a position of power, being the leader of his crew. He wasn't willing to compromise, split, or anything. It was this and only this, which was taking all of Raquel's corners. And Unique really pointed towards a weak spot of Raquel's. He knows that Kanan is Raquel's weak spot. Unique said that he also has a son, Jerome, who is also his heart, but he didn't live inside of his body. He didn't come out of him. But Raquel and Kanan are connected in a way Unique and Jerome just never will be. And this is the difference between Raquel and Unique with regards to both their sons. And this is why Unique knows that Kanan is a weak spot. And if he ever wants to target Raquel, then all he has to do is target Kanan. And this is exactly what I think he'll do, just with the help of Davina instead. Now, Davina is ironically Kanan's weak spot and has been ever since first grade. She's been playing him to the left and now that her boyfriend Buck is out of the picture, she's going to have some questions for Kanan, but Kanan's also going to be there for her when she gets kicked out of school for having a fight, which we'll see in next week's episode. There was this scene that we saw in the official trailer for Raising Kanan and at some point Davina will find out the truth about what happened to Buck, no matter what Kanan tells her, I'm sure that she'll seek answers and maybe from Unique, considering that he was working for him on the corners. And when she does go looking and searching for answers, this is where Unique could really make his first calculated move against Raquel, the use of Davina to get to Kanan. Davina Harrison could hold all the cards to Kanan being taught a very harsh lesson this coming season because I've mentioned before that although Kanan is smart, tough and ready to be a hustler, he's still naive and he's got a lot of learning to do. He's got a lot of learning to do when it comes to trust, love, how to sell, how to protect himself, how to think three moves ahead and we're not going to see Kanan developing all of these traits in one season. This is something that Kanan is going to learn across the whole series from a whole lot of different people like Rack and Marvin but Davina in my opinion is going to be one of Kanan's most harshest lessons this season. I'd love Jukebox to get the kill of Davina as well we've all seen and heard how cold ruthless jukebox is and how close she is with kanan they're gonna have each other's backs so i would love to see jukebox be the one who gets to kill davina but this is where i think the war could really start between unique and raquel because will raquel just stand by and let unique take all the corners in fact will marvin let unique take all the corners because we heard how he wasn't even happy with the first deal that raquel made in the first place and i really wouldn't be surprised to see if he was the one who does something stupid and do something to really pour petrol on this fire between unique and raquel because he clearly doesn't agree with raquel's ways at the moment so let me know what you guys think about the war between Unique and Raquel, how Kanan is Raquel's weak spot, Unique has a son too Jerome but he's not connected to him in a way Raquel is to Kanan and could Unique use Davina to get Raquel? That's what I want to know from you guys, drop all your comments down below and your theories down below and if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Walk 3 related over the coming months but as always thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.